This project is called Uzumaki. And this is by Shimamoto Shozo. I'm recreating it from Mary Blackburn's Fall 2012 Foundation class. I've already laid down some acrylic paints and some India ink. And the whole point of the piece is to let the, the material kind of separate itself according to density. So uh, we let gravity take its effect. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes now. And it's coming out to be pretty cool. But uh, the Shimamoto's was a lot more spread out on the paper. So I'm gonna shift it a little bit and let gravity sort of have more power over the edges, I guess. So check this out. This is it so far in reference to my fingers it's about it's a little bit longer so I'm going to move it up to this ledge here and sort of let it go and the whole point of this style of art which is called kutai is to let the material interact with itself and sort of just let it look cool. Bishop, and I'm going to be recreating with the help of my assistant, Peyton Nathan. Oh, whoops. Here. You gotta focus. We're going to be recreating Chimese Tetsute Kisen from 1961. This is by Shiraga Kazuo. And uh, this will involve me sliding my feet around on a piece of paper. He used a canvas, and his wife threw uh, paints down and he just let his feet touch the canvas, but he couldn't see it because he was suspended. So I'm going to suspend myself from a stool because we don't have uh, the resources right now to hang from a rope. But it should be really fun to see what happens.
this is Paul Bishop, and I'm making my own project in the style of, of Gutai concrete. So I'm going to try to uh, just let the material do cool stuff and sort of keep the spirit separated from that material. For my project, I've taped some pins to this uh, roller. I guess it's a mechanics roller so you can get under the car to change out oil or whatever. Check that out. And I'm going to be using long strips of white paper and someone's going to be pushing another person along this white strip on this roller.